Hello, it's Neo Rambler here with a little sort of pre-video warning again uh, before you watch this video. Uh, and that is that this part of this final bit of Half-Life 2, uh, this first video, uh, this first part of uh, the first bit of this part of the Let's Play, I should say, um, is basically just uh, 16 minutes of me basically referring to the comments that you guys have been saying in the last few videos with regards to the you know the plot twist with dr breen and dr mossman's double agent malarkey and my viewpoint on why i believe it's a weak plot twist um basically you can skip this entire video if you want i don't actually start the game until the next part basically i don't know why i spent 16 minutes rambling over it i'm i'm very tired at the time of this recording and very tired at the time of this uh uh, the, the time I've recorded these videos and now actually uh, so it took me a long time for my brain to sort of process everything I really should be in bed but at the same time I don't have much time nowadays now to do these videos not until the second half of this year but I wanted to do it I want to do these videos as you know so I, I'm, I'm trying my best but yes you'll have to forgive me the quality of my ability to comprehend and process information is going to be quite low um that being said uh there's no rage or anything like that a little bit of frustration for this next bit only because it's tricky but um other than that yeah this first video you can just skip um if you just want to see me actually playing the game go to go to two, go to the next part basically go to two of i think it's going to be split to three parts this uh this bit of the this final bit of the let's play so yeah um just skip to the next video if you don't want to hear me ramble for 16 minutes about all the comments you guys made but if you want to carry on listening or carry on watching this video please do but yeah if you just want to see me get to the end skip to the next video okay then guys anyway take it easy have a good one and i hope to see you around hello and welcome back to half-life 2 the let's play blind with me neo rambler hi there right then uh, I've been looking at the comments over the last few videos because, uh, you know, I declared that the thing that happened in the last video concerning our confrontation with Dr. Breen and everybody coming together, that being Eli Vance, Alex, Dr. Bossman, myself as Gordon and all that, uh, when the final sort of truth of everything was revealed, well, not really, but at least Dr. Breen was trying to reveal the truth before some stupid thing happened. And I was like, what? And then, yeah, you saw it, you know what I'm talking about. So anyway, uh, so before we do carry on, firstly, I have paused the game on the advice of Hidden Windshield because he has said that this next bit we're going to do is a timed section. So if I am going to do any sort of, you know, note taking or uh, notes regurgitating or commenting on comments thing like I sometimes do in front of my videos, in front of my videos, before I actually start the video even, I should pause the game. So I have done that. Now then, I'll try and keep this as quickly as, uh, as quick as possible even, I should say. Because I know my rambling can go on for a while, but I love addressing the comments. I've I've got to find a way to sort of address them without interfering the gameplay. But since this bit is a time section, maybe this is probably the only way to do it. But I'll work on something in the future where I can sort of refer to comments and answer comments, queries, and all that sort of stuff, or answer comments in general, if you know what I mean, uh, while I'm playing the game, so it flows better. So I will work on that. Don't worry. But it's just for now. This is what I've got in mind. Right. Anyway, let's. Let's, let's actually start. Uh, first things first, I can't actually read any of my notes, which isn't good because I've written them on the on the cover of a chocolate bar. Well, on the, I say wrapper of a chocolate bar, but it's actually a cardboard cover, um, and I can't read them. So this is probably going to be shorter than it should have been. Uh, oh yes, right. Well, I'll summarise as much as I can. Right. So people have been saying that Dr. Breen's plan was to allow the combine to come to earth which they have in order to merge with the top one percent of the human species or human race i should say uh because although the combine have the power and the technology to come down and just wipe us out or take us over and use us as slaves or do whatever to us in other words like any old traditional alien invasion that happens in the world of fiction would do uh they apparently admire some of our technological feats like the teleportation i didn't even know that humans had invented teleportation in the future i don't know what year this game is set in i think 2020 something or 2040 it has been mentioned i've just forgotten but yeah this is the future but anyway yes we invent teleportation apparently which i thought was an alien technology but no apparently we did that um and other things uh the combine have suggested that rather just 
just coming in and taking us over, uh, we can do a deal with them. They said, well, you know, you, if you allow us to enslave you in a way, we can help you out, you can help us out, we can, you know, have a sort of communal relationship, and then we'll merge your two races together and make something new. I didn't even know that was going on. I don't know where that came from, but apparently that's sort of what's going on. I might be wrong there, but that's what I read up. Uh, and that's and Dr. Breen, I, I don't know why Dr. Breen suddenly was spoken to by the Combine and suddenly became the representative of the human race and how he gained power over humans so that it all happened, I've no idea. But Dr. Breen went, oh, yes, of course, that sounds wonderful. Bloody marvellous, old chums. Right, okay, then. Uh, human race, where are you? Oh, yes, there you are. Right, uh, listen to me. Uh, we're going to uh, going to do what these guys are saying uh, from now on. You know, they're going to basically tell us what to do, and we're going to do it because uh, it's all good for you. So, uh, yes, off you go. Without sort of, you know, weighing up the evidence against the fact that the Combine probably aren't going to actually fulfil the promise that they said they were going to do with regards to helping us out, but rather probably just, you know, exploit us for everything and then kill us. And apparently, according to uh, some of you, uh, or one of you actually, I can't remember who this time, uh, they have actually been exploiting our human resources, or our natural resources I should say, not human resources, probably some human resources actually, because they have been converting some of us into, uh, I forget the name now, oh god, what are they, begins with an S. I forget. You know, the creatures that we saw pictures of, and I believe we've been seeing sort of walking about the Citadel, those weird, shriveled up, what were human beings, all greyed up, and they've got weird things on them, they look like zombies, but they're not. Um, those things, I forget what they're called now, I'm sorry. Um, they've also been sort of stealing our natural resources, and apparently, during the levels where we were on the coast, um, uh, you can notice that our sea level's gone down, apparently, and they've been stealing all of our water. Or they're stealing our water at least anyway not all of it otherwise we wouldn't have any left but they're stealing our water which kind of reminds me of that film that came out not so long ago with Tom Cruise in it Oblivion I think it was that was a similar premise in that um, but yeah so I was like oh okay but so they are being naughty then they are stealing our stuff and not really sort of you know yeah, they're just using us basically, and they're not wipe us out anyway, which, you know, again, they are, they're just fulfilling the whole we're bad dude alien people coming down to raid you and stuff, and yeah, we'll, we'll pretend to make promises with you, but really it's just so that we can steal your stuff without actually killing you all straight away, because it's just easier for us to do it, I don't know. Either way, Dr. Breen believes it all, and he's been, you know, getting the human race to do their enslavement and letting the Combine do their thing, and everything's great from the Combine's perspective. And I was like, okay, fair enough, you know, well, at least I know a little bit more about what's going on now. I mean, I, how was I supposed to pick this all up during the game? I don't know. Although some of you have also said that, you know, a first play of this, you haven't got a clue what's going on, you know, you're just playing the game, you're trying to survive and all that stuff. Um, apparently a lot of the story you can pick up from just noticing things, which, uh, I, I, you know, I, I believe that because, of course, in the first game, you know, I noticed a lot of things going on in the background. And, yeah, what, you know, Valve would probably use a similar sort of style of storytelling for this one and I think they were commended for that in the first game and sort of commended it for this one yeah they thought oh well it worked with the first game we'll do it with this game we'll be smart and clever and not give the the game player uh, the actual story up front we'll get them to sort of notice things which is clever and useful but only for small things not for main story elements that's the one thing I do not like about the Half-Life plot or the Half-Life uh, narration or storytelling thing it's this whole, you know, if you're going to do that, just do it for small things. You know, really small things. Like, maybe one twist, perhaps. Oh, you should have noticed that in the background, but this is the big twist. Oh, I didn't. Oh, but now you brought it up. Oh, yeah, I did, but I didn't register. Oh, okay, that's clever. Or, you know, like in some movies, like Shaun of the Dead or Hot Fuzz, where they've got loads of little in-jokes in the background, and there's loads of movies that do that sort of thing. That's acceptable. I think that's a, le that's a fine enough level. But when you're putting actual central plot points or plot components in the background that someone like me who's quite a below average gamer would not notice that's poor storytelling i'm sorry but you know you say oh well play the game again and you'll see it again well what incentive have i got to play the game again if okay i'm not saying that the game is bad in terms of the gameplay mechanics and the graphics you know it's a fun first person shooter game with some interesting mechanics and the platforming's not too bad you know and it's a great immersive world i like the world of half-life it is interesting um but in terms of, yeah, I, I mean, but the plot, you know, playing it again for the plot and expression of the plot, so far for me personally, and this is just me personally, I'm not saying all you guys are wrong or anything, but just for me personally, it, that's not enough. You've got to give me the majority of the plot up front so I can 
you know, understand it and go on and have all that stuff in the background as enhancements and or little in-jokes or little subtle things. That doesn't completely change the plot or doesn't completely, you know, overhaul the plot in any way. It just adds to it or it, it might add a twist. But the fact that a lot of the plot is hidden in the game that you really need to know in order to understand what's going on. In other words, what I believe to be core critical components, I don't think is very good storytelling. So, but that's just me. That's all. I mean, you know, that's just my opinion. I, I'm just a guy who likes to have the story brought up to him, not spoon-fed all of it. Not, not you know, I'm not trying to say oh, I need everything spoon-fed to me. No, but I'm not a clever person. You know, I, I don't pretend to be an intelligent person. Yes, I know I have a degree in physics, but that doesn't mean that I'm supremely intellectual or a nerd or anything. It just, you know, okay, I got a degree in physics, but that, you know, that doesn't make me a smart person. That just makes me someone who did physics for a bit, you know. Um, I'm still going to struggle in other areas, you know, especially areas I like, such as video games. You know, I'm going to struggle with interpretation of meaning and plot and all that malarkey. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to say that in my rambly way, uh, I didn't, yeah, I, I just, I'm not too happy with the most of the critical plot points being in the background where you really need to pay attention to it you know uh, making you play the game again to get it unless you want to go on the internet and look it up which i don't like doing because again what's the point you know if the game's not going to tell me the plot in a way that i can understand it why should i start digging around and trying to find things on it you know yes i have asked you guys for advice and help and all that but only because of questions you know I, I'm, I'm all right to do that that's fine i trust you guys to not re you know reveal too much about the game and you haven't done you've been really good so again thank you for all your help and all the questions i have asked are you answering that's fine you know i like that but what i mean is that you know i won't go and like research everything i'm just going by what you guys are telling me that's all because it just yeah, otherwise I might ruin it for myself. But point being is, is I'm just not happy with the way that the game is telling me the plot. So that's all. I just it's just not my cup of tea. Um, but I do know I do like back things in the background hidden. You know, like in Half Life One with G-Man and all that. You know, you see him following you throughout the game, or he's in the background a lot. That's that's fine. I think that's acceptable because um, it's something minor. You know, it's 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 not too core critical. It's it's it, but it is a critical part. But it's it's one. It's like only one that reoccurs throughout the game. In this one, there's quite a few that there's more than one. And you know, it's it's just yeah, it's it's too distracting for me. Right. Sorry. This this has been a really long rambly introduction. I'm so sorry. Um, right. Uh, I know. I, I am sorry. I'm trying to call it. I'm trying to wrap it up, but it's, it's quite difficult, actually, because there's a lot of information that I need to process, and sadly, I'm so tired and, <laughs> and a bit run down that I'm, uh, my brain is not working great. Um, let's see. Uh, no, I've done that. No, no, I've done that, done that, done that. Oh, yes, the plot twist. Yes, the whole boss man issue. I think this will be the last thing I'll talk about, and then I'll actually start playing the game. Uh, yes, some of you have... Uh, that's it, one of you said it. M. Richer, I think it was. I'm not just fingering you out here to make a point or anything, old chum. It's just... That's just who I remember you saying. Yeah, the whole plot with M. Ross, uh, Mossman um, sort of, you know, going against Dr. Breen, you know, the whole time, it, you know... Well, not the whole time, but when she reveals that she has been working with Dr. Breen, uh, you know, while she's also been with Eli Vance, uh, has implied that she's a double agent. You know, or double agent character, or doing double agent things, uh, and you know that's fine. You know that's fair enough. It's 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 quite a cliched plot point, but or plot component of a, of a story. But that's fine. I'm, I've got no problem with that. You know, as long as it's done all right, I'm fine with that. You know, it's good. I like that sort of thing. Um, as long as it's justified. But anyway, uh, yeah, you had that going. So you think, oh, okay, fair enough. But it it was just the way that she just suddenly changed her mind and went against him. I just thought it was a bit out of left field and done really badly. It was done very quickly and it wasn't... I, 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 I didn't see it coming, fair enough. I, I actually generally didn't. I thought she was going to get killed, actually. I think that would have been a bit better, actually. Her still, I mean, I understood her protesting for Eli Vance to be saved because, the, you know, I didn't realise that she fancied him and he fancies her, you know. Uh, apparently that's explained in the DLC, apparently, so that's, that's fair enough. But that, I'm not too fussed with. I thought, I, I, I know I've been going whoa, she fancies him, whoa, and he fancies her, oh, whoa, oh, that's lame. But, you know, that's fine, I can I can go with that. But, yeah, it was just that. I just thought it was very weak, and really just it, it kind of it just didn't seem very fleshed out. That's all. It didn't seem very well thought out. It just sort of, it felt like a cop-out. It really did. Um, and 
But then again, having said that, I don't think Dr. Breen actually as an antagonist has been that good of a character either. I thought his initial setup when you first get off the train and you're first being introduced to the city and you see his image on the television screens and he's recounting his stuff to the people, that sort of build up in the background of his character, I thought that was really clever and I thought he was quite a daunting figure. You think, God, this guy's quite powerful and he's got this weird perception that this combine thing's going to help save them. Yeah, that was an intriguing build. You know, that was an intriguing introduction to Dr. Breen and his his viewpoint on everything and, you know, the Combine being where they are with the humans and all that. I thought that was a good, solid introduction to the character. I thought, oh, I'm interested now. But the fact that he's become very one-sided, very narrow-minded and very... but not very complex. He, he became quite one-dimensional as a character. Um... And then the plot twist of Dr. Mossman, I've got to be honest, yeah, I honestly think it was, I don't really think Dr. Mossman, uh, Dr. Breen, sorry, is, is a very strong antagonist, I think he's quite weak. I thought he was a bit, it was basically a great start-up, a great, a great introduction to him, and it just sort of didn't really go anywhere, you know, um. Yeah, I didn't think Dr. Breen was great, so when he's, and then, like, when he struggles to use the gravity gun, like, he picks it up. And then he just drops it and dumps it. Well, why? Uh, apparently that's it, I said, well, maybe he doesn't know how to use the gravity gun. What? But then somebody else has said, oh no, he does know how to use the gravity gun, you're being talking rubbish. And I'm like, well then why did he drop it? Why didn't he carry it with him? He was carrying it with him. Was it too heavy? I mean, I can carry it all right, apparently. And Gordon's not a super trained man or anything, he's just a regular scientist. Unless the suit he's wearing gives him added strength, but I don't think it does. It gives him protection, but I don't think it gives him added strength in terms of physical strength, like picking things up and all that. Um, but, yeah, he just sort of drops it. It's like, no, dude, use the gun. If you know how to use it, use it because <laughs> that's quite threatening you've taken my one main weapon away from me and you're using it against me that would have been scary that would have been clever and i would have been like oh damn he's turned the tables around me oh no uh. and then he just drops it take it with you take it with you apparently he's being transferred to the i don't know where the benefactors are or whatever but you just take it with you just whatever even if you lose it in the transformation sequence or the transfer sequence from here to wherever it is you're going to go and we're catching up with him now just take it with you you know use it against me try and stop me with it you know that would have been quite cool and me having to like have no weapon and having to try and dodge his you know dodge his gravity gun blast and trying to get through trying to chase him but without a weapon that would have been quite good but no i, oh, I don't know i'm just saying it, it was just very weak and the twist with dr moss man i thought mm, really it just wasn't very it just didn't do it for me, that's all. I, I just disagree with everybody saying, oh, it's really good. And she, oh, that was it, yeah. Uh, oh, no, she's been planning this the whole time. Her feelings, it was all a plan. She was really with Eli the whole time. She was planning to betray Dr. Bree. No, she wasn't. No, she wasn't. She just, it was like, oh, through the power of love, I shall betray you because I really love my, my Eli. Which is fine, I suppose, but... Uh, I don't know. I think because this game's supposed to be so clever and supposed to be so intelligent, I thought for the plot that it is giving you and the story it's giving you, I just thought it was rather weak, that's all. Anyway, right, I've ranted for far too long now. We we actually need to play the game now, so sorry, I'm so sorry that that's taken about 10 to 15 minutes. I'm really sorry. Um, I, I wanted to dumb that down a bit, um, but... Uh, but yeah, I'm just tired. Hey, anyway, right, there's my opinions and thoughts. But again, thank you guys so much for commenting. I mean, it really means a lot. And you guys taking an interest. Please keep it up. At least till the end of this game, anyway. Uh, it's been great, and I love hearing it. And I'm not saying, for what I've just said earlier, that you guys are wrong or anything. I'm not saying, no, you're wrong. You, you're all late. No, of course not. It's, all this is my opinion, that's all. I've taken into consideration your arguments, and I've just weighed them with my head. And I think, okay, some of it I get. Some of it I'm still not, you know, I'm not on side yet. It could change. It could change. But right now I'm like, okay, I need a bit more convincing, that's all. Right, let's resume and let's do stuff.